Hello fellow Florida Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry members. My name is Dr. Jason Olitsky and I have your Florida Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry tip of the month. This tip of the month is going to be about properly cementing on zirconium oxide crowns. Now I feel like based upon the research there's a proper way and an improper way to bond on zirconium oxide crowns. Now we need to remember that zirconium oxide has a strong affinity for phosphoric acids. So our zirconium oxide primers have methacrylate groups with phosphoric acid groups in them that adhere to the zirconium oxide. So we get a strong coupling action or a strong adhesion to zirconium oxide. Much stronger than not using any primer. So make sure you use a zirconium primer. The primer that I like to use is called Monobond Plus. Monobond Plus has the ingredients necessary to get the adhesions to zirconium oxide, but also we can use it as a silane for glass ceramics and for base metals and noble metals as well. Because zirconium oxide has that strong affinity for phosphoric acid, we need to remember that when we're cleaning zirconium oxide. Now if we clean it with phosphoric acid gels, what we're doing is we're, we're creating a bond with, between the phosphoric acid, acids in the gel to the zirconium oxide, so we're using up those receptor sites. So the coupling agents are not going to be able to bond to the zirconium oxide. So we don't want to clean zirconium oxide with phosphoric acid gels. Instead of using phosphoric acid gels, we could use ethanol, something like that, or Ivoclars come out with IvoClean because they know that we can't clean zirconium oxide with phosphoric acids. So IvoClean, what this basically is, is it's zirconium oxide. It's zirconium oxide that has a stronger affinity for phosphoric acids than the inside of our zirconium crowns. So we'll pull all the phosphate groups off the receptors in the zirconium crowns and it will adhere them to the, to the uh, IvoClean. We can rinse it off in 20 seconds and our zirconium is ready to be primed. We can also increase our mechanical micro-retention by using aluminum oxide sandblasting before we prepare our, before we prepare our zirconium oxide with, with our couplers. So that is my tip of the month. I want to just to remind you to use zirconium oxide primers, to sandblast with aluminum oxide, and not to clean the inside of our zirconium restorations with phosphoric acid. I hope it was helpful for you, and I look forward to seeing you at the next Florida Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry meeting. Also remember to check us out at flacosmeticdentistry.org or go to our Facebook page.